guys. So, um, as you can tell, I still have a cold, and <laughs> but you know, life goes on, and uh, I go to work and I make videos. But um, today's video is about a um, review on the products that I uh, did before. So um, I did a haul on. So this is the Shiseido Translucent Loose Powder. And I absolutely love this because um, it's what I needed. It's a powder that um, goes on very lightly but sets my makeup and that's what I wanted it to do. But also is good for like springtime because I don't want I didn't want to look like too cakey, and the fact that it's white um, doesn't really really affect my makeup really because anyway I'm so pale so see it's like white like this and it's fine I don't um, like when powders are too dark anyway so for me and I have very fair skin um, I actually like it because. When I apply like darker uh, powders, it just kind of makes me look a bit dirty and so I don't uh, particularly like that. So I'm happy with that and, I'm, and it does the job and um, it just makes my skin like uh, look illuminated and I really need that, especially now with like my cold and stuff. The second product that I did a haul on was the Esther Lauder uh, Renutrive, Nutrive, yeah the light um, zero one this is very light so very tough to get open okay, this is the double um, obviously concealer and I like it it's very thick though so I'm um, I really I don't apply it with the brush it's a very uh, thick concealer which is all great of course but um, I apply it with my fingers I don't use the blush uh, the brush sorry so I apply the lightest color under my eyes, as you can see, it's this one, and the other one with a smaller brush, which is a brush that I use, it's a MAC uh, liner for your eyeliner brush, and I just uh, take it, take the color, like the darker one, and just like directly apply it only on there, like, because with my fingers, you know, you kind of tend to be messy and go all over the place. So I do that, I apply it with the brush, and then I blend it out with the warmth of my like fingers. And um, you can use any finger, I mean they, use, they tell you to use this finger because it has the least um, pressure, but it, maybe you want to do that under your eyes, you want to apply, like, apply it with this uh, finger. And so um, I'm happy with that, um, although I still use to illuminate under my eyes, I still use um, the L'Oreal Touche Eclat, uh, Touche Magique, sorry. Okay, there you can see it. And so um, I like to put this um, before I put the concealer, and but then if I still want like extra light under my eyes, I do put that. So I do really enjoy the L'Oreal one. Although this really does the trick because it's so thick and just like. So um, it covers quite well. So that was um, the two main products. I don't think I'm leaving anything out. And then there's, there was the Chanel um, uh, mascara. So it's the mascara multidimensional. Um, oh gosh, what does that say? Anyways, volume, length, curl, and separation. It does separate my lashes very well. Volume, I don't know about that. It doesn't really um, give me great volume. It separates my lashes and it makes it, yeah, I guess it would say quite long, but not as long as the L'Oreal ones or um, the Maybelline ones. Those are the best and I still think that the mascara ones are not as good. And uh, so for mascara, Chanel, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. So then I um, I didn't do a, uh, a haul on it, but I bought this, the Helena Rubinstein uh, Wanted Stellars. And this color is, the packaging is great with all those stars, Wanted Stellars 3770 Cosmic Praline. And I bought it and I have it on now. And it's quite obviously, um, you know, like nude and neutral. 
what I, what I really like, and this is the color. But if you can see, maybe if I get real close, it has a little bit of like um, <laughs> little gold like particles that seep through, and it just gives you a beautiful like um, a color to the lips. Not really color, but it's like nude, but it's just like very shiny and bright. And I love uh, Helena Rubinstein and what she the company does especially the lipsticks and I love the eyeshadows and um, so I'm going to be using them um, because I want to buy some more and so I'm going to do like hauls okay, and then um, I didn't tell you about this product but I use it it's a Lis Minute Base um, Comblant okay uh, perfecting touch now I've been using this for a while but I've never I actually lately haven't and I don't know why because I love it so this is the how it comes in this red little um, container and when you when you open it okay it's this creamy pink I don't know, it's not focusing it's like a creamy very light pink um, cream <laughs> and the consistency so I have it on my finger here and so if I apply it, this is my hand, I apply it here, and I let it uh, soak in, like, um, absorb for two seconds, and I'm telling you, like, when it dries, your skin feels like silk, because what this does is that it goes and uh, removes any, like, fine lines that you have, or any like uh, pores that are, are quite big, you know. It just smooths everything out, and um, it really does do it. I mean, I mean, if I like, I'm saying this is because it really works. Because I do have some pores and also some scarring, and this really um, does the thing, does the trick. It says the modern magic makeup base that smooths away the appearance of fine lines, enlarged pores, and imperfections instantly. You can use it alone or under makeup or over foundation on areas of concern. So I really like it to use it alone, no, because I'm not going to go out without any foundation. But you can use it over foundation too and it gives a great, great effect. So um, just know that I uh, had been using this for a very long time, then I stopped and now I'm going to start back again because I don't know why, sometimes I forget. I mean, I use so many problem uh, products that um, I tend to forget. So anyway, I really, really recommend this. So um, yeah, try it if you have like me, you know, like enlarged pores or just very fine lines. Of course, you know, being 35, I'm starting to get very, very fine lines, but I do have them. So, um, anyway, so all like thumbs up for everything except for the Chanel mascara, which, um, like usual, I don't like. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed my video and um, see you next time. Bye!